Alrighty, in this final painting dealing with this tree, I'm going to show you a fun technique using uh, the thick opaque acrylic, not as a uh, application for direct painting, but to create texture uh, and give a bit of a more analog feel. But in this painting, you can see that I've pushed the uh, warm side and the light side a little bit farther, uh, and I've uh, cooled down the shadow side. Uh, even more. I've added a little bit more detail. I've thrown a little bit more texture in there. Um, and so if this was real close to the final, um, I sometimes employ this particular technique to give uh, even more of an analog feel because that's the desired effect that I want in my uh, digital paintings is that people look at them and they don't see uh, that it's uh, digital, uh, that it uh, uh, could possibly be analog. So one of the final techniques that I use is I'll grab a thick uh, opaque acrylic brush. Um, I set the um, value at about 50%. So as I have this particular brush, and I do this on a layer so I don't mess up, and you're going to be wondering, what is he doing to the painting that he just did uh, underneath? Now I'm following the grain of the, the wood, and I would follow um, the patterns like up here of the leaves by just bouncing around um, and you're wondering what is he doing well I'm trying to build up this paint as you see if we zoom in a bit you can see that uh, again the beauty of Corel Painter is it gives this feel of raised pigment and so um, I use that to give even more of uh, again an, an analog feel to uh, the digital paintings. So how I get that effect is I put that on a soft light and now um, I, I kept it off default. I usually paint it with the soft light on so I can see what I'm doing but I wanted you to see kind of the, the acrylic, thick acrylic paint in there and the raised surfaces and then what I do is I just kind of follow along with my brush strokes of, of what I've already done and it really gives a nice feel uh, for the raised surfaces of a heavier uh, paint. Uh, and then, you know, I could drop the opacity down just a little bit to see, well, if it's too much. Uh, and again, the beauty of um, working with your effects on layers is you can test them out. So if I turn the, the layer off, you can see just the, the brush strokes underneath. You can just keep brushing, doing some longer strokes to follow the grain, and then maybe some um, hard uh, impasto, real short um, um, brush strokes. So there you have it. That would be kind of the last um, stage to one of the um, uh, detailed paintings that I would do. Thanks a lot. Yeah.